I'm Emma. I was born 30 years ago now with cerebral palsy, which mainly affects my physical mobility and the use of my legs. I've used a wheelchair and a mobility aid for the majority of my life, really. I don't know anything other than being physically challenged. It's still a way that affects my day-to-day -day life and the way that I, I live. It is the unknown for people. Perhaps people have never been in the presence of somebody who's physically challenged. It's an education, maybe. I am offering an insight for me. That's part of my purpose. I'm deeply, deeply intuitive, very knowing and I can use that to help move myself and other people forward. It's not something that people would look at me and see. I was awarded 10 hours per week of help around my apartment. My main support was around the flat with things like mopping floors, bed changes, What's different for me probably is that it takes me quite a lot more time to do most day-to-day -day functional tasks. I would rather give those hours to somebody who could really benefit. My intentions to be much more mobile and up and out of my wheelchair to use my body to its fuller capacity, really, to use its strengths and its capabilities. For quite a few weeks, I had this sensation within me, this inner knowing, if you like, that something seemed to be restricted. That it was as if a part of me just wanted to break through. It just made sense to me to get up on my two feet and use the body that I've been gifted and given, really. She came in, sure as houses in a chair off the taxi. We had a significant and detailed chat. We kind of highlighted some areas that we both agreed on would be nice to progress into and aspire from. We started the first day getting them straight out of a chair and straight onto a mat and, and rolling around a bit on the floor and having some fun. Whilst doing that, not only building up a little bit of a rapport between us, just trying to uh, get some muscles going. I think uh, Em referred to it as a bit of a wiggle. So I've never heard it referred to as that before, so that was quite nice. Going in there took a little bit of vulnerability I knew that I was going to have to bond with somebody that I'd never met before, be willing to be supported physically as well as emotionally. When I'm there, I'm very supported, I'm encouraged, I know that I'm loved and I'm cheered on. I'm looked upon for what I can do rather than what I can't. When I allow myself to be vulnerable, that's when things really blossom. There's a lot of things that have happened both physiologically and psychologically that have made a huge difference. We've gone from, oh, I'm not sure about this getting out of the chair business, to actually now coming with her three-wheeled walker. The chair practically we're almost entirely divorced from now. It's been quite a smooth, linear progression, which has happened on a multitude of different levels. And, you know, just from the session today, we saw, you know, the ability to go from sitting to standing with minimal amount of help. 
the ability to balance on a fairly narrow bench. Again, it's a huge skill set to have for somebody who's been used to moving around in a chair. So, yeah, there's, there's vast improvement. Yeah, I'm stoked, I'm genuinely stoked. When I stood up and I got on my sticks for the first time and Pete was in close and he looked at me and he said, what do you need? And I said, courage because I was really scared to have somebody who cares so much to be able to say whatever your fear is we're facing it right now and I don't care if you're scared and if you're scared that's good and it's that presence that is the formula for success and that was a really transformative moment for me. I am proud. It's not something I say too often. My ultimate vision, I think it's completely possible for me to be walking without any age. I want people to know what's possible. I'm doing it and so can they. Life can be crap sometimes. I've had my fair share of hurt and in spite of those obstacles I'm flourishing. And I do believe that what I have within me, everybody has. These are the cards that I've been dealt. I'm here to play. <laughs>